am Dr. Shrujit Ghosh. Welcome to my channel, Dr. Ghosh Presents. Shine symptoms and uses of homeo remedy, Virectum Vir. Full name Virectum Viridi. Common name Green Hellebore, Source Plant Vegetable Kingdom. What are therapeutic uses of Virectum Viridi? Apoplexy, Sunstroke, Headache, Convulsion, Asthma, Chorea, Erysipelas, Heart Affection, Fever, Meningitis, Pneumonia, Rheumatism, etc. etc. What are the spheres of action of Virectum Viridi? It acts on heart, blood vessels, pneumocastic nerves, lungs, joints, particularly on cervical portion of spinal cord and base of the brain. Temperament diathesis of the patient is not important since this, is, this medicine is out and out used for acute condition. This is the image of the plant and this is a sample of medicine. What are mental generals of Viridum viridi? Mental general means mental general symptoms. Great loquacity with exaltation of ideas, quarrelsome, furiously delirious, screams, howls, strikes, incessant muttering, peripheral mania, carphology, fear of facing own physician, of being poisoned, suspicious. Now, here one technical term is coming, carphology. Carphology uh, what happens? The patient in a, while in a state of delirium, he just pricks the bed cloths with his fingers involuntarily. That is called carphology. Perpural mania, you know, this is the maniac, maniac, maniacal actually behavior uh, during the time of delivery of child by women. What are physical generals of Viretum Viridi? Most suitable to full-blooded plethoric persons with sudden onset. Violent congestive conditions of the base of the brain, medulla, lungs with nausea, vomiting, weakness, fainting and numbness of limbs. Marked uneasy sensation in the whole body, twitching, jerking, trembling, convulsion, convulsions all over the body during sleep. Muscular prostration, pseudo hypertrophic muscular paralysis, erratic pain, staggering, burning in different places, tongue, pharynx, gullet, continuous jacking of the head, lies with head low. Now, on the right hand side, pictures this is a picture of lung, nothing to be discussed much about it. We know <coughs> what is lung. Now, base of the brain. What is the base of the brain? The base of the brain is this portion from this to this. This is the base of the brain. Actually, this is composed of the following structures it is written here midbrain, pons, medulla mainly. Though there are two arteries, one is basilar artery, another is vertebral artery. This is the base of the brain. The base of the brain and the lung. These are the most important organ where this plant causes uh, inflammation. General aggravation and amelioration of viritum viridi. Worse, raising up, motion, cold, lying on back after confinement, sunstroke. Better from rubbing lying with head low, eating. Head symptoms of Viretum Viridi, vertigo with nausea, prostration, better from closing eyes and resting heads. Head retracted, constant jerking or nodding, some sort of chorea. Chorea is involuntary motion of limbs, various parts of the body. Aching on vertex between eyes, pain in occiput with dim vision and dilated pupils. Basilar meningitis, apoplexy. On the right hand side, the vertex and the occiput portion has been demonstrated. Just note, this is head up and this is the face. This being face, this is the crown or vertex. This is the crown or vertex 
and this skull this skull has got so many small species of bones this is frontal bones uh, this is sphenoid bones parietal bone temporal bone maxilla zygomatic here is the occipital portion of the bone this portion is occipital or occiput basilar meningitis now what is meningitis meningitis comes from meninges brain has three layers of covering pyometer arachnoid meter and dura meter these three are called meninges when this is inflamed due to infection of tubercular bacteria it is called basilar meningitis one of the very very serious disease in which a lot of babies and children used to die every year apoplexy what is apoplexy apoplexy actually this is a old name the modern name is cerebral stroke where artery in the brain is clogged and or maybe clogged or maybe torn off thereby a portion of the brain matter is deprived of blood so sudden uh, attack of unconsciousness follows and if it is not attended promptly the patient dies very easily eye symptoms of bright red visions of red spot which become purple on closing eyes unsteady during delirium while staring look bloodshot eyes and pupils dilated now what is bloodshot eyes bloodshot eyes this is the bloodshot eyes this is called bloodshot eyes pupils dilated look at the pupils of these two eyes this pupil is normal this pupil normal this is dilated pupil dilated pupil ear symptom of bitter pretty cold pale cold and pale deafness when moving quickly with faintness no symptoms of irritability rapid continued sneezing with warm feeling in the mouth appears pinched and blue first symptoms of irritability bhedi livid target and flushed which become faint on rising or sitting up tension across malar bone chewing motion of the jaw convulsive twitching of the facial muscles now uh, let us see what is malar bone this lady is showing the malar bone and on the skull the position of malar bone is being demonstrated here mouth symptoms of bright temperity drawn at one corner foul odor from mouth mouth feels scalded tongue as if bleached dry with red streak along center look at the tongue of the bright temperity what is characteristic thing white red streaks dry and red streak at the center throat symptoms of bright temperity burning in gullet gullet means esophagus esophagus the line connect the pipe connecting between uh, throat and stomach esophagitis that is inflammation of esophagus as if a ball rising upwards global hystericus see there you, you will see in your chambers few patients who will report that and they that they are feeling they feel something um, some bola some ball is stuck in the throat and whenever he swallow that goes down again it comes up this is called technically called global hystericus it is actually uh, heartburn or acid burn when the pylorus end of the stomach is blocked then gaseous form or acidity uh, just churn up upwards towards the throat and that global hystericus is the result of that thing actually this is acidity or uh, some sort of heartburn with this this video ends thanks for listening and viewing anything problem please write in the comments i will certainly respond stomach symptoms of bitter bhir violent vomiting without nausea stomach appears to press against the spine gastritis this is the image of gastritis the wall of the stomach is inflamed painful violent constant hiccup with spasms of esophagus very thirsty drinks little who relieves for a short time nausea 
vomiting and purging very small quantity of foods and drinks rejected immediately it is whenever taken it is rejected immediately vomited out abdominal symptom very temporary enteritis that is enteron that is bowels inflammation of the bowels with high fever pain and soreness across just above pelvis cutting pain from navel to groin pain in bowel runs into scrotum tenesmus and burning in rectum better feeling during stool or after urinary symptoms of rectum pedi scanty urine with cloudy sediment cystitis with fever there are some pictures that i already explained this is enteritis the whole enteron inter bowel system is inflamed enteritis x ray x ray figure giving this inflammation picture and this is the urine cloudy urine what are female genital symptoms of rectum pedi perpetual fever with rigid os convulsion with mania or mania continues after convulsion ceased perpetual fever you know this type of fever comes uh, with the ladies who has just performed a delivery of child due to various infection this type of fever comes and uh, this perpetual fever with rigid it may also be there sorry it is not after delivery during delivery also is possible it is after delivery not after delivery it may be during delivery so that there is rigid os rigid os means the cervix of the uterus is stiff so labor is being delayed convulsion with mania and mania continues even after convulsion ceased suppressed menses with congestion of head dysmenorrhea with strangury dysmenorrhea is a common term you must know this term dysmenorrhea is painful menstruation strangury is a rather uh, technical term strangury means uh, it is the state of uh, the state of urine dispose that is the patient is feeling that he needs to pass urine but actually there is no urine in the urinary bladder so he is giving pressure there is spasm there is spasm and pain that is that state is called strangury what are respiratory symptoms of rectum pedi pneumonia with burning sensation in the chest congestion of lungs slow heavy breathing as if heavy, heavy load lying in the chest violent cough from the very beginning now here uh, see respiratory symptoms may be pneumonia it may be also bronchitis so i have just seen uh, given two small uh, images to know how they they differ it is bronchitis this is pneumonia in bronchitis the bronchus the bronchus means the air pipe through which air enters into the lung cells lung cells are called pneumons that and when they are inflamed it is pneumonia actually they, they are alveolar sacs the alveolar sacs sacs small very small sacs of called alveoli in plural singular alveolus where inter exchange of gas takes place that particular cells are called pneumons and inflammation of pneumons means pneumonia whereas bronchitis is the inflammation of bronchus a tube these two are different uh, by definition but mind it the symptoms are very much similar very much similar ordinary person cannot differ cannot uh, make they cannot understand what what is where it is wrong what is or pneumonia because symptom is very like only senior since senior and uh, advanced stage i mean doctors of excellence can know the difference <laughs> one simple difference is that in case of pneumonia there is severe uh, breathing difficulties in bronchitis that is not so breathing difficulties is much more in pneumonia and po2 that is partial pressure of oxygen that is also very low in pneumonia but not 
that much in bronchitis. They are clinical symptoms. What are heart symptoms of irritability? Pulse full, large or soft, slow with strong heartbeats. Pulsation through the throughout the body, more prominently felt in right thigh. Dull aching pain with burning sensation in heart. What are neck and back symptoms of irritability? Aching pain in neck and shoulder, cannot hold head up. Opisthotonus. Now, what is opisthotonus? Opisthotonus is a spasmodic form of body where the body is bent backward. See, this is opisthotonus. Body is bent backward. If this patient lies on his back, then only his head and heel will touch the ground. What are extremities? Symptoms of irritability. Cramps in leg, feet, soles, fingers, toes. Cramp. This is cramp in the cap muscles. Violent electric leg shock in limbs, convulsive twitching. Pulsation in lip, felt in thighs, restless hands during delirium. Pulsation in right thighs or right thighs or thighs is a very, very peculiar symptom of peritomperity. This is a symptom that cannot be seen. As a doctor, you cannot see. The patient will subjectively report this. Delirium, you know, delirium, generally we show we see patient in high fever, such type of disease. In During that delirium, that is where he is speaking, he is doing something, carphology like thing, uh, unconsciously. In that unconscious state, restless hands. This is another important feature of veritam veridi. Mind it, veritam veridi is an acute disease, so all this type of acute emergency can be tackled by veritam veridi. What are skin symptoms of irritability? Tingling, pringles, picking sensation in skin, itching in different parts, relieved by rubbing, skin cold, clammy, bluish, irisipilitic. This is irisipilas, a very acute type of skin disease where the skin appears to be purple or uh, blackish purple, rather. What are sleep symptoms of irritability? Sleeplessness, coma. Dreams of drowning. Now, what is coma? This is a picture of coma. Coma means the patient is in deep unconsciousness. Unconsciousness may be of two types, stupor and coma. Stupor is light, coma is deep. How uh, it is differentiated? You just throw light in the eye of the patient. If the pupil responds, that is, with the uh, when people comes in contact with uh, light generally people is contracted in case of coma that contraction will not be there the people will be fixed and it is smaller in case of stupor that is light it will respond to light this is the difference what are fever symptoms of irritability hyperpyrexia pyrexia is technical term for fever with sweat cold clammy hot sweat cerebrospinal fever suppurative fever Acute rheumatic fever, all types of acute fevers are covered by Vrittam Vedi. Fever high in evening, below normal in morning. Mind this, below normal. Below normal is also a form of abnormality. This is all seen in Vrittam Vedi. Morning, below normal. Related medicine, aconite gelsemia. It is certainly aconite will be a similar because this symptoms, the symptoms of irritability comes very sudden, like a storm, aconite, belladonna, and of the cell, same type. So aconite is related. With this, the video ends here. Uh, any difficulties, please report in the uh, comment section. I will certainly respond. Thanks for listening and viewing.